we're now going to start thinking about some more challenging ideas in biology. And the first one is to consider what actually is living? What does living actually mean? So thinking back to Mr. N.C. Grew, Mr. N.C. Grew, this acronym is useful and it helped us to decide if something is living or not. But in biology, there are a few things that we think are living, but they don't fit perfectly into Mr. N.C. Grew. And the first group here is viruses. And viruses, they don't really grow, but they do reproduce. They don't require nutrients either. But they can move around and they still need water. And they can move as well. So how do we decide if a virus is living or not? Because it only ticks about half of the Mr. N. Grew categories. So it's difficult to decide for viruses. There's also another group called viroids which there's a picture of one down here. These are even more microscopic than viruses. They're just a single molecule. And in fact, they don't really move or need water. They don't eliminate wastes. They don't really respond to the environment or grow. They're not made of a cell and they don't exchange gases, but they do reproduce. So the difficult question that scientists have to think about is, do we count viruses and viroids as living or do we not? Just because they can reproduce, does that make them living? And scientists still argue these ideas at the moment. We're still not exactly sure. Which basically leads on to a couple of important rules to remember when you're learning more biology. And the first one is that classification isn't perfect. We can try and classify things as living or non-living, but you can see with viruses and viroids, there's a little bit of a grey area. It's not perfect. The second thing to always remember is that biology doesn't actually have any rules. Even if there's a common rule that you think applies to most things, there'll always be an exception. There'll always be a living thing that breaks the rule. So these are some good ideas to remember as you continue learning biology.